Here I am. So usually I put stuff on my neck, but maybe I'll do it after. Uh, not after after, but like after I do my my bronzer. I haven't even done anything yet, I feel. My lips are getting dry, so I'm using my Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear. I usually get these at work, but I, I bought the four pack at Target one night because my lips were like, you know. <laughs> So dry and I didn't really have anything on me so I'm like I need something and for the price I was like you know what I'll do this I'm trying to find the right one there it is <coughs> I should be drinking water I'll take my clarin in oh my god so this is Marc Jacobs Omega oh mega bronzer perfect tan and perfect tan it actually says oh exclamation point oh Mega. I wonder if anyone else has it like that. This is it. It's a sample. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dark in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's such a lovely color. It's really nice. It doesn't really smell like much, but it's very nice. I don't know. Does this make it anything easier? Can you see it? Oh, there you are. You can kind of see it there. It's like a kind of tan color, and it's orangey, and it's just really nice. I didn't realize how nice it was until yesterday. When I blow my nose because of my allergies and everything, I blow my nose. I blow my my excuse me, not to be gross. I blow my nose a lot, and every time I do that, or even use a napkin, product comes off my face, and I'm like, what the flip? So, well, not with that word, but <laughs> you know, like I'm like, what the WTF? what's happening here why is this happening but i don't know but i mean it's a good if you know please let me know in my comments i would really 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 appreciate it so anyway i'm taking this brush which isn't really a bronzing brush but it's the brush that i like and it kind of makes it go kind of heavy so what i'll do is if i don't think it's blended enough i'll switch to a brush with a bigger head so i'm using my elf foundation blurring brush this one here, I'll show you this, but going like this and like this because it's such a small thing. Uh, it's really hard to do. I wish I had the full one. This Marc Jacobs bronzer is definitely, this Marc Jacobs bronzer, this one right here, is definitely something that would be worth the, it would, it's definitely something that's worth the investment, I think. So maybe one day I will invest in it. Just today's not that day. Not enough money. But if Daniel wants to buy me something, oh my god, I'm losing these brushes too. <gasps> and when this, when I use this product on my face, I don't even bother with blush because this does it all for me at least. I just like the the coloring that it gives me. I put it like here, there, everywhere. I probably don't do it right, but I don't care. Cause I like I like the um probably should put something on my neck. I like the tan look <laughs> that it gives. My eyebrows are a mess. I might still do the um what do you call it, the highlighter. Oh yeah, that was a lot of my chin. Excuse me. Fix my brows. Oh, I bought a new brow liner last night from Alame because they're being marked down at my store. I think it's because they're replacing it with NYX, but I'm not quite sure. But I know NYX is coming, or it could be Physician's Formula. It's something. They're taking it out. Alame. I used to love Alme, but apparently they're not doing all my foundation oh, brush and this Burberry thing again. This is interesting. So I'm just like marking up my neck with the Burberry. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that was hard. Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Blaze. Yeah, new. Luminous fluid base and nude radiance that I put on my face before. Now I'm doing my neck. 
out of order, but I'm trying to get it done. And then I'm gonna do the uh, bronzer on my neck when I got breakouts. That definitely needs my brush need my brushes need to be clean, and I do my ears sometimes too. Just a little light thing, my neck and my ears. I learned that from watching people on YouTube. My girls. <laughs> my girls, but they're not really my girls. I kind of feel like after a while of watching certain, you know, after watching people, why am I going to a weirdo? After watching people that I like, enjoy watching, they become, like, it feels like they're kind of your friends, but they're not, like, you don't, I don't know them personally. But I feel like I'm with my girls. Like, you start to, like, genuinely, like, like these people or not like them or you're just watching them and you're like god this person's so annoying but there's something about them that you like and then some of them i just think are awesome like i don't really think any thing of them except that they're really cool and sweet or whatever i'm gonna grab my my bronzer brush again <laughs> it's not really a bronzer brush but i'm gonna pretend like it is go back into that bronzer And do my neck. Play with my flab. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm gonna match. And me to my ears so I match better. Fix my nose again, my face. I'm hoping at the very end, once I put my um, spray on my face, it'll all just like come together. Like the Beatles. Anywho, uh, so from putting foundations and stuff on my face and using this eyebrow brush, gel brush, I get sh all this crap on it, so I'm just cleaning it off. It's a Rimmel, Rimmel Brow This Way. Not born this way from Lady Gaga, but Brow This Way. Brow Styling Gel, it's clear. And I bought this, maybe it work? I don't remember. It's 004 clear. And I'm not doing that hand thing. I'm, I don't feel like doing it right now. I really don't. I just feel like this is something that's not really worth that, well, that worth of showing. It's not that big a deal. You'll get over it. And I'm just... I bought the All May Brow Pencil yesterday at work, because it was on Markdown. It's number 802, Burnett, or Brun, in whatever language that is. Oh my god, I'm kind of doing it. So on one side, you got this eyebrow brush, and on the other end, you brow liner, and you turn it, and I'm praying this one doesn't break, like my Tarte one, I'm so upset that I could almost contact Tarte and be like, yo, <laughs> After a couple uses, a few, maybe a handful of uses, the pencil stopped coming out. It's in there. It's stuck inside. I have their three thing, three whatever you call it. I'm just very upset about it, but that's all right. The highlighter sucked, but I like, I kind of liked it, the uh, pencil part. Right, this is like really heavy. I might have to clean this up. Going in there, trying to cover my white hairs. I don't worry, I'm gonna clean it up. And that's the one thing I look for. I don't really care about shape because I already have shape. Really nice shape to my brows. I just go in there to fill it in, like to make them look a little fuller. I don't really do this right either, but this is what I do. I think this is why a lot of girls. I don't know about guys, because I don't really watch them on YouTube. But a lot of girls will um, not show you when they're putting on their, their uh, you know, when they're doing their eyebrows, because it's so awkward. But I have awkward, so I don't really care. This one goes on so heavy, so dark. I'm like a little in between about it, but... I'm gonna still use it because I bought it 
I like Ame and it was so cheap. Well, not like so cheap, but like, it was like on Marktown for less than $5. Like really? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you can't go wrong. And Ame is not cheap, cheap. Back when, I don't know if she's still doing it, Kate Hudson, when she was their spokesmodel, that was when I was, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't using, I didn't use makeup on the regular, like regularly, but I did regularly buy Alme at that time. And I got the ones that were, for the most part, for green eyed girls or people, pe you know, green eyed, people with green eyes. And at the time it was mostly girls, but it's still okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it was. Times are changing. This is really heavy. Okay, good with that. See, I look like a freak. 